Well, good morning, it's Crazy Cheap Chick, and last night my husband made his famous meatloaf. Now, I know meatloaf has kind of gone out of style, um, but it is the best country comfort food there is, and my husband is, his meatloaf is out of this world. And I just really never paid attention really to how he made it until I filmed it last night, and now I realize what he does different than everyone else that makes it so good. So I'm gonna pass along his secrets. So come on, let's make some really fabulous meatloaf. So you start with three beaten eggs. How much oatmeal do you put in? No, that much. Better. <laughs> you cook like I do. It's about a, a probably a cup, cup and a half. Yeah, probably a cup and a half, maybe two cups. So now you've added about a half a cup of hot water. Correct. All right, it needs to be hot, not cold. Yeah. So you do this all first while you get your vegetables and everything else ready. That way it can, the oats can absorb the moisture. And this, the oats are important. I mean, people use different things, breadcrumbs and stuff. So I like this. It gives it a, the thing I really like about meatloaf is the crunchy top. Yeah, because when you use breadcrumbs, it's kind of mushy. Yeah. And there's this little, this, it, it, it is an expander, but also I think it adds to the flavor and texture as well. And let's lower your cholesterol. Mm. So we've got three egg, three beaten eggs, about a cup and a half of oatmeal, and about a half a cup of hot water. Yep. Next, you're going to saute some chopped up green pepper and onion. And I think this is a mistake a lot of people make on their meatloaf, is they just put these in raw with the hamburger, and they taste so much better. A meatloaf tastes so much better when you take the time to cook these vegetables in just a little bit of butter before adding them in. And Worcestershire sauce. What is that, probably a couple of tablespoons? Yeah. And barbecue sauce. Now you're using, hold it up there, Oklahoma Joe's. So that's just seasonal, basically. Yeah. You're using Chicago steak seasoning. That's yeah. probably about a tablespoon. Translucent, tender, and brown. Okay, so you've got your vegetables sauteed. Now that seems like a lot of vegetables. Do you add all those? Yep. So now you're just throwing those in with your oatmeal. Yep. So you're adding one pound of hamburger. Does it matter to you, like, what the percentage of fat is? I mean, does it make a difference? I mean, I know that's 80. No. 80, 20. No, actually more, more fat, more flavor. And if you want to make gravy, you got more drippings, you know, it's just, it depends on your personal choice. So you don't have to grease the pan. No, no, it's self-greasy. And then how long do you cook it? About an hour and 15 minutes or so. At what temperature? Uh, 350. Now you know they say this is an old meal, that young people don't make this anymore. However, our granddaughter requested it. And our daughter, though she hated it, made it for her recently. And it was a hit from what I understand. I don't understand why foods go in and out of style. Well, I mean, some foods, but meatloaf? That's a classic. So you're draining off the grease. Yeah. So even though this is 80%, there's hardly any. And that wouldn't even have been enough to make gravy. Nope. Good thing we don't want gravy. I mean, we do, but... Oh, so you just pour it directly on there, huh? This is barbecue sauce. Gotta have a Wait, let's really, you can tell it's pretty much done cooking. So this is, 
you add this, you can't put this on early on because barbecue sauce has a lot of sugar and it would just burn. Ta-da! That looks delicious. I'm going to have some meatloaf and some green beans and some leftover broccoli and a baked potato. Are they hot like they just came out of an oven? It doesn't get more country than meatloaf, baked potatoes, and green beans. Yes, dinner is very, very good. Thank you for asking. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you got something out of it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe. We do all kinds of fun things out here at Brightbridge Farm. So follow along and join the fun. I hope you have a great day.